So trust me on this. Most of your questions can be solved. Once we start programming, let us start from the bare basics and try to build up one step at a time. Most of your questions cannot be answered in plain English. Although I have tried my level best to do that, you will realize that the best way to answer it is to experience it all by yourself. Okay? So let us now get going with our programming journey with a very nice online package called Scratch. It is actually a programming language and trust me, the prerequisites, the age from where one can start using this programming language is actually just eight. A eight year old can understand this programming language really well and trust me, it's actually very addictive. Look at this little cat here and look at all the commands over here. You know, these commands give this cat a whole lot of power. And let's see what exactly are the powers that you can enable the cat to perform something. Right? When you say move 10 steps, I think it's obvious for you all. The moment you say move 10 steps, she must move 10 steps ahead. So, let me say, move 10 steps, move 10 steps, she's not moving. Right? Probably there's something else that I must do. What is that? So, it is double clicking on this move 10 steps. That is what is going to make her move. And if you change this 10 steps to let's say 50 steps, I type 50 here, it's going to make her move 50 steps. How? Not by just clicking on this once, you must click on this twice. A good thing to do is to possibly open the scratch window by going to scratch.mit.edu. It is there in the description of this lesson. And then you can try it all by yourself as I'm trying it. Okay, so move 50 steps, she moves. Another time, move 50 steps, she moves. And let, us, let me say, move 100 times, 100 steps, she moves 100 steps. I'm going to pull her by the tail and then bring her back. Okay, so again, move 100 steps, she moves. Move, move, perfect. And as you can see, there are a lot of self-explanatory stuff here. Turn 15 degrees, says a command. When I keep it here and then double click on it, look, she's going to move 15 degrees. Correct? Let me make her move completely. Right? She moves, she moves, she moves and, and finally, she comes back to her original state. Okay? I can also move her in the opposite direction. I made her move clockwise, I can make her move anti-clockwise. Look at this, double click, double click, double click, she's moving. And then double click this, she moves in the clockwise direction. Go ahead 100 steps, turn by 15 degrees, go ahead 100 steps, turn 15 degrees, go ahead 100 steps, turn by 15 degrees, go ahead, Turn, 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 and then go ahead. You see, I can command her using these commands. She went ahead by 100, so let me pull her back. Then let me turn her so that she comes back to her original position. Okay, so what have you learned so far? You have learned the following. Here is a cat, and you can instruct her to move the way you want. The way you want here is basically the set of commands given here. Some of them sound complicated, but don't worry, with time, you will be able to understand almost everything of what is given here. As of now, we just learned how to make her move ahead and how to make her turn the way we want. Let us end this lesson by making her turn by let's say 90 degrees. So this will make her turn by 90 degrees, right? And then again, let's say 70 degrees. I'm just typing it here, 70 and then again, let's say 80 degrees, 80 degrees and so on, right? So now it's time for you all to not go ahead with the next lesson, but to open the scratch window and try playing around with her and make her move around, turn around and do whatever you want. Sky is the limit as you can see. And it's a whole lot of fun making her do stuff, okay? You can in fact explore other things here also, 
although we'll be covering all these things it is good if you can go ahead and look at this mini laboratory of how to program a small unit graphical figure we just now made the cat rotate move around this was just the beginning you can do a lot more with scratch than this let us see more of it in the forthcoming videos we saw we saw how we can make this cat move rotate and things like that now what i'm going to tell you is what is called grouping these instructions so i'm going to group them you can easily guess what that means so basically um I, i just zoomed the command so that it's easily visible for you what i'm going to do is i'm going to make her move by 100 steps and again move back by minus 100 steps what does this mean clicking on this will make her move ahead clicking on this will make her move back to her position it's like go ahead 100 steps and come back by 100 steps right okay and then let me say i want her to turn by 90 degrees so when i click on this she turns by 90 again turns by 90 again turns by 90 and again turns by 90 so what i want her to do is let's say first move 100 steps and then turn by 90 and again move by 100 steps so i should bring back move once again keep it here make it 100 steps and then turn by 90 degrees what will this do what will this do let me keep this aside so when i double click on this she'll move back by minus 100 but when i double click on this she will perform all these four things continuously simultaneously okay so let me just remove this this is not required so i double click on it and click on delete okay and it's gone so when i double click on this the first one she will move 100 steps rotate by 90 degrees and again move by 100 move by 100 steps ahead and then again rotate by 90 degrees let us see whether this happens or not boom she comes here and then settles here we couldn't we couldn't recognize what exactly happened right now if i click on this once again she will move ahead by 100 rotate move ahead by 100 rotate and stop see that happened now i click she comes here i click she goes back the the the, the movement is so sudden that we are unable to observe what's happening right so there's a way in which we can actually make her wait between the commands And that is called if you click on control you will see what is called wait here you can insert wait and she will move ahead wait for 1 second and again rotate by 90 degrees i want her to move i want her to wait for 1 second once again and then move 100 steps and then again wait okay now what will this do very simple see most of scratch is self explanatory i would say all these video lessons are not so important what is important is you should experiment with what stands for what now let me double click on this let's see what happens self explanatory isn't it move a 100 steps move waiting for 100 one second move to it and stop i repeat move a 100 steps rotate move a 100 steps rotate given that i have given one second time this is happen correct so what do i want i want her to move ahead let's say um, by 200 steps what will happen right now she'll move a whole lot rotate move just a little 100 rotate and stop so i want her to move 200 steps always and go back to her original position she went away somewhere okay let me pull her back so i want her to start here move by 200 steps which is somewhere here rotate and then she'll move rotate and then she'll move rotate and then she'll move she'll complete a loop you see she should get back to her original position so what do i do for that self explanatory i should again make her move by 200 steps go to motion click on it 
put move here move by 200 steps i want her to wait for a second so go to control and then say wait for a second move, move by 200 steps and then again rotate right you must again make her rotate by 90 degrees again i want a wait in between as you can see otherwise you cannot see her move computer is very fast the computer will make all these commands get executed in a fraction of a second you will not be able to see her move properly okay and again rotate by 90 degrees let's revise 200 she comes ahead 90 degrees she rotates 200 steps she comes down 90 degrees she rotates 200 steps she goes here 90 degrees she rotates and again i must say move by 200 steps isn't that right she should move four times once she goes straight rotate and move she comes down rotate and move she goes to the left rotate and move she goes up once again control wait for a second tada there we are just double click on this go rotate go rotate go rotate go rotate Ah, she's not rotating because I'm not rotating here. So what I should do is at the end, I must make her rotate once again. So rotate by 90 degrees and hip hip hooray, we are done. Wait for one second and this will make her do the trick. So, but I, I will um, um, rotate her um, by 90 degrees right now, otherwise she'll not start from there. So I'll create a new command just to rotate her by 90. Now we are all set. Bring her here and then double click on this. This is a separate command. We can double click and she'll rotate like this once, twice, thrice, four times. As and when you double click on this, this will happen. But when you double click here, move, rotate, move, rotate, move, rotate, move, and then rotate is what's happening. Right? These were the list of commands which made you write your first program a set of instructions for this cat to move and complete a square remember the example of coffee tea five of them three of them and things like that correct i gave you people instructions and you followed it remember two coffee three tea cookies four cookies and things like that right Similarly, I give him instruction, I give the cat instruction to rotate, to move ahead a few steps and he does that, okay? We just saw how we can group a bunch of commands and execute them in an instance. This is one of the most powerful concepts in computers and especially one of the aspects of programming that is worth appreciating. You can write a long piece of code running through several thumbs of lines which will execute something very quickly let's say you click on a icon on your icon on your uh, computer and the program opens this particular thing is actually a piece of code a long piece of code but it acts so instantly that you will not realize that it is so long a code that you double click and it gets executed in fraction of a second now we'll go ahead and understand what are called the looping structures. If you want to get a bunch of things done repeatedly, there is a nice way of doing it in programming. And let's see more of it in our forthcoming slide.